man, this this chick, she's <laughs> <laughs> These European women, yes, they are fantastic. <laughs> Let's like, go, DT. <laughs> fit, 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 fit looking women. How does it feel when a film flops? Like, I just disown it completely. Yeah, right. Right. Like, oh, man, what what movie? What are you talking about? <laughs> Was I in it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This girl came to me and she said, Why did you beat Shah Rukh Khan so much? But why? Why did you hit him? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? So I said, Well, he hit me as well. He deserved it. I've been texting someone, this girl, mm-hmm. and she doesn't reply. And I text her 10 times and she's like, Hi. Stop saying that. Yeah. <laughs> What should we call you sir? Yeah, no no yeah, please don't were... call me sir. <laughs> no we have... I mean I I don't want to be knighted it's okay. <laughs> okay. Just call me Dalip. Dalip. Yeah yeah. Dal- DT you can call me DT. 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 Dalip is, Dalip. Yeah cool. DT is DT a is. lot cool. <laughs> yeah. I like that. And that goes with your Instagram profile. A couple of yeah a couple of my friends actually my very close friends mm-hmm. always call me DT. So DT is like you know Yeah, DT is cool. We can do. We've been uh, so the reason we're doing this is we've been looking at your Instagram, and I want to ask you what is happening. Like, it just came popped up in my reels one day, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, to be to be very honest with you, um, it's did you feel ever since they you know uh, Mahek and Amog ever yeah. since they like we got together, I mean they just. taken me in a, in a, in a, in a in a totally different zone from, from yeah. where i was and funnily enough i mean i'm i'm kind of comfortable in it because that yeah. is really what what you what most people see of me in the movies is me as the actor yeah but i found that the kind of stuff that they wanted me to do frankly it's all their yeah concept and their conceiving Uh, I just I'm, I just had a great time doing it. I thought it was like great, you know. I was really yeah, enjoying it. It's, it's more me, actually. As a as a person, that's more me than the roles that what I do for. It. Yeah, the, ro- I mean, the roles I play. That's not me, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I play some pretty mean stuff. Yeah. You know, I can be mean. I mean, yeah. it's not that I'm absolutely in- incapable mm-hmm. of being mean, but I like to you know keep it aside for special yeah. occasions. Yeah. What being mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What are those occasions like? When was the last time you were really mean to? Oh, someone? I was really mean uh, last night. You know, the guy was irritating me, so I was like really mean to him. Yeah. But what happened? Why were you? Well, I, I kept asking him. I said, like, what do you do? And he kept mm-hmm. getting. He, was, he kept asking me all sorts of personal questions. Mm-hmm. Right. But these things kind of happen in a bar. Mm-hmm. So he's asking me personal questions, which I answered, and to you know, to to close to to whatever it is. But when I asked him what I said, what do you do? He was like super secretive about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I said, listen, pal, you know, it's got to be a, it's got to be an exchange of things. But he, he, he just wouldn't tell me what he did. He just said, I make surgical instruments. Wow. So I said, that's a broad spectrum. So what yeah. surgical instruments do you make? Do you make the scalpel or mm-hmm. what do you make? He wouldn't tell me. Yeah. So I hate those people. Yeah. Who like they want, just want to take, 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 and yeah. then you ask them one question and they're just like. But I think they're not used to it because you, you're an actor and you're a public fig- figure. People know you, and when someone speaks to you, maybe they don't expect you to ask them the same thing back. Clearly, like if someone walks up to you on the street, I'm like, sir, big fan, and then you ask them, what is your name? They're just like, whoa, what just happened? Because yeah, they don't like, expect. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, so, but from time to time, I do it, you know, to yeah. to. Because sometimes I'm curious to to know who the person is. I mean, yeah. I I do. People come to me and ask me, "Sir, आपकी ये picture देखी फलानी picture बहुत अच्छा काम किया, बहुत fire and all." So I ask them. I say, "Where are you from? You know, what's 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 your gig, man? I mean, you know." And they go like, "Oh." As you know, then I tell them, "No, I want to know. I mean, you know, yeah. what's your name? Where are you from? You know, where have you seen me? What have you done?" Because some of them are so young, they can't have seen. Yeah. Like Bazi yeah. Gur and right. Kamal Sir Kamal Sir and all those films, when they first released. Mm. Yeah. So we've been s- actually my generation has been saved by television because yeah, <laughs> yeah. it kept <laughs> all these films longer. come on television. Yeah. There was I was in an elevator once and this girl clearly she was a school girl because she was in school uniform and all mm-hmm. in the lift with me, and she said, "Sir, I really like your work." So I said, "Oops." How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so always a good question. She said, <laughs> "Because 
She was in school uniform, so I said, you must be 12. She said, no, no, I'm 13. So oh, wow. Yeah. You got her walk. Oh, too good. So I said, so you're 13 years old. I mean, where have you seen me? I said, sir, if I watch you on television, every day your movie comes ishq. <laughs> yeah, I think even I have watched yeah. Ish just too many times. And Bazigar and all these Bazigar, movies yeah. keep coming on television. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a savior because otherwise nobody wants to know. I mean, yeah. they, you know, they, they have yeah. seen some of my yeah. recent, work. recent work. I saw this video. <clears throat> uh, we were doing our research and I saw this video where there's like paparazzi. And you go up to them and you're like, what are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> There's two dudes. Nah. Yeah, you look like, lost in that. Like, yeah. you didn't realize that they're paparazzi. You're, they're oh. like, they're paparazzi. And then you're like, oh, you guys know me? And they're like, yeah, yeah, sir, we know you. And you're like, <laughs> all the best. <laughs> <laughs> and you just leave from there. <laughs> Perhaps, yes. They're sort of, you know, that's, they're a strange breed here. They're sort of kind of, they're always sneaking up on you from somewhere. Yeah. There, you know, from behind bushes and all. It's actually, when one sees it happening to other mm -hmm. people... Uh, it's, it's, it happens to you when you get packed. Yeah. Sometimes it's, you know, you get, you get thrown because you don't yeah. know who this guy is. Mm. Wow. And now with mobile cameras, it's like, it's you know, it's, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I mean, you know, it is, it is a bit flattering mm -hmm. that people do know you and they want to take photos with you and this yeah. and that. And, um, so I guess, you know, that's, that's part of what you have to do. But have you had any like crazy paparazzi moments? I had one. Yesterday was quite an exciting day for me because coming here. One girl walked up to me mm -hmm. and said, you're Cindy? So I said, she said, I'm Cindy, you're Cindy, let's get a photo taken. Wow. <laughs> so I said, wait a minute. You're, you want me to do a photo with you because I'm Cindy or because I'm Dalip Tahil? What's the thing? Yeah. She said, no, it's the thing. But uh, since you're Cindy and I'm Cindy, we should get this photograph taken. So I, I, sco I, scold, I, I was like, I told her, I said, listen, you know, that shouldn't be the reason why you want to photograph mm -hmm. me because I'm Sindhi and you're Sindhi. It should be because maybe you've seen me in some movie or you like or dislike my work or whatever it is. Yeah. And uh, so that was it. It was pretty weird. So <laughs> This is one of the times you were mean. Yeah. yeah. You seemed to be mean a couple of times yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> then I went on to the other guy who, who wouldn't tell me and what he made. Yeah, yeah, he was just like... So cagey, I thought probably he's, you know, he's, 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 he's mm. doing something that he's not letting out, you know, yeah, yeah, this guy's yeah. up to something. But that, these uh, paparazzi people, like, do you think, because they are everywhere now, like with social media, like you just see, I know which actress is going to the gym, what gym, what time, what are they doing? Like they're everywhere. Do, how do these people find out? They're told. Oh, they're told. Of course. I, mean, yeah. it's I wanted you to say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I won't lie about it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. schedules are... Look, I mean, you know, this has always been a gray area, but I'll yeah. tell you that the truth is that all actors and people, we have a a publicity machinery. I yeah. mean, you have your publicist and you mm -hmm. have this, which is par for the course in this job. I mean, everyone is yeah. associated with some publicist or something and, uh, you know, they let on where you're going to be at what time and which gym you use. And yeah. so the paps come along and they they come and pap you. Yeah. And you got to pretend like, oh, oh God, oh, yeah. you know, I don't want to be clicked <laughs> right now. Where the hell are you come from and all. <laughs> yeah. But it's, today it's, I mean, you, it's, it's not a big secret. Yeah. 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 I'm sure you guys knew this before I told mm, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just, just like it's. Good confirmation. Well, confirmed yeah. right, by someone who knows. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I know a lot of, uh, I, I know a few actors will not be happy with me, but that's their problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit in. You don't want to name some bull. No, I mean, I said, "Arey, yeah, you don't want to tell me that." I mean, who are you fooling? Yeah, I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. I mean, you know, just knowledge have, at this point. People have 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 sort of grown up, and you guys deal with the media. Yeah. And you know you have your own your own show, and yeah. you know so nobody believes all this here. You yeah. know? It's just fun for everyone to see. It's like, oh, they're at this gym, and then yeah. the yeah. paps are getting clicks online. They're getting, or we call it relevance. Like, well, it's 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 a business. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they those photographs have a value. Yeah, mm -hmm. of certain of certain celebrities, so it's like you live off it. Uh, the paps come and the paps give you that publicity so that people begin to see you uh, for what f something different than, than just seeing you on the screen all yeah, the time. Yeah. People get to know your personality a little better, which yeah. is what social media has done, which is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
in my case as well i mean you know it 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 has you have that side of you which nobody the heck wanted to know when there was yeah. a, when there wasn't any social media yeah. which mm-hmm. now uh, seems to be interesting in certain areas so yeah. it's it's like a, it's like a, you know you scratch my back kind of I situation them, yeah. yeah because that helps you from the from that point of view to be seen in your excellent uh, yeah. sweat pants airport yeah, 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 yeah. airport look <laughs> airport look <laughs> there's the airport look there's the gym look it's also also the fashionistas i mean you know they yeah. you know it's like people follow them like what kind of sweat suits are they wearing and what bag is she carrying and obviously the women yeah are, have a, a more attractive in this kind of thing but it's kind of a fashion statement as well so you know yeah it's some some it's celebrities don't like it though like i've seen some seen some clips where they're just like oh like that's I've just got yet to come across a celebrity who doesn't, <laughs> doesn't like, like it yeah. what they don't like is if they're not papped yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you got a problem so who 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 what's going on why isn't anybody taking my photo You're calling your publicist is like what is yeah, what is going on coming you know, here fire, fire your publicist <laughs> like you know i went to the gym i wore my best suit no one came <laughs> I and had to work out for a change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to actually go and use the gym. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I was asked this as well mm-hmm. that uh, doesn't it bother you all these people come for photographs and all? So I said, no, it'll bother me if they didn't come for photographs. Yeah. I mean, I've been forty-five years in the film industry, mm-hmm. and if still people don't want to take my photograph, I mean, I'm in the wrong yeah. job, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, what am I doing as an actor? Nobody wants my photograph. Yeah, I just saw a Shah Rukh Khan clip where he was talking about how. someone asks him something like this and he's like no i would i want to be troubled every day every second of my life that i'm out i love the fame this is what i've worked for he's like i want everyone to just come and try to like rip my clothes off every time i go out <laughs> i mean like he wants people to know him clamoring for him yeah basically. they want yeah. that well i wouldn't so. go as far as that personally <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but then to each his own yeah i mean yeah. If, if that's what sharuk wants is clothes torn off every day <laughs> <laughs> I I mean he always been like that. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's got a different DNA buddy. I, I don't think I have that many clothes to keep replacing them. Yeah. Shahrukh's got a huge wardrobe. So it's okay for him. Now I'll be out of clothes. I'll be you know, walking around in my my underpants. <laughs> yeah, that's a good paparazzi picture. Like that'll make you feel better. But what was it like working with him? Like that Mm, I actually worked with Shahrukh. I'll ask you about Shahrukh. Yeah? Yes. 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 When he first came to Bombay, I mean, I mean, his his first film that he did with I did with him was a film called Diwane. Mm-hmm. And uh, he had just he had just come to Bombay, and his career was just taking off. He had just done that Rajuni, and this was one of his first movies. And there was a, with a very well-known director called uh, Raj Kanwar. Okay. Raj Kanwar was. a established director and he was like a very sort of uh, known to be a person who wanted his own way i mean like most directors tend to be you know <clears throat> and i was amazed at shahrukh because he was new and he got into a thing with raj kumar who was flabbergasted yeah. and saying no no i think we should do it this way mm-hmm. and i think that the scene should be done like this and shahrukh wanted to do it his way Yeah. yeah. So I was flabbergasted as well because I was standing there saying what's going on I mean you know yeah. I was I was <laughs> amused I said like okay what's going to happen now <laughs> and eventually his his energy and his conviction was 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 so positive that I saw Raj Kumar say yeah okay uh, you know let, let's try it your way kind of thing and he did it his way and I was I was it was really remarkable because um it it absolutely shows the kind of the kind of uh, confidence and positivity yeah. and what he brought to the table and he's and he continues to do that <clears throat> because i read something about him where he said that you know even if i flop i'm going to flop doing it my way mm-hmm. rather than if i flop i can i at least say that look i tried and i tried to do so he's he's got a he's got a he's got a really amazing uh, uh dynamism mm. dynamism no di- yeah yeah he's he's got that he's got that He's got that energy, which is which is very unique. Yeah, charisma. Which is yeah, he's huh? see charisma is actually I believe you you develop charisma yeah. because with your successes and with your aura and with yeah. with things as things go on, you begin to you begin to 
a charisma is something that is actually your aura it's around you mm. and be- becomes attractive what shah rukh definitely had from day one which you need as an actor is presence mm-hmm. screen presence yeah because i've seen i won't take their names but i've seen one or two actors in my lifetime who are that you couldn't believe that they wouldn't be successful leading men they were handsome they were good they could act pretty well everything and one such person just bombed completely so i went to see that person's movie i couldn't believe that this person wouldn't be a, person. a super leading yeah. man yeah and that's when i saw that just you he you looked at everybody else on the screen but him mm. and then there are those actors who may not be perfect looking may not have all the all the parts of the total may not be all together but when <coughs> when those parts come together the sum of those parts it has magic yeah. you know you, you, there's a presence on the screen and you can't get that <coughs> nobody can train you to have presence you either have it or you don't yeah so that is something that is is one of those things you know that um, I suppose it's 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 uh, He's you gifted could, with it. you could call it a, a certain kind of charisma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's a presence. It's a yeah. screen presence, a stage presence, a screen presence. <clears throat> and if you're a leading man and everybody's looking at everybody else and you mm-hmm. clearly don't yeah, have that yeah, presence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can you're do what you can do what you yeah. like, but yeah. the audience is going to leave you unfortunately. Yeah. So then you know this there's no there's no in in my opinion there's no one thing mm-hmm. that you can put on and say that if i do this then i will be a successful actor yeah the only thing that is is tangible is that you have to do your job with a maximum amount of conviction mm-hmm. that you yeah. have with the honesty and that's it that's yeah. all you can do really so people who tell you that uh, i knew this movie is going to be a hit and all is is usually a a load of pass. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> But do you know, like, when you're making the movie, do you know that this one's going to be a hit or like? Absolutely not. Know? Not a hit or thing. See, you do know that you select the film because you like the subject, obviously, yeah. and you like what you're going to be doing <coughs> in it. So uh, that is that's a given. I mean, that's why you're doing the film. But if you turn around and say that. I knew all along that Bazigar is going to be such an iconic film or yeah. Kayamat se Kayamat yeah. or Ishq is going to be such big hits or Kaho na Pyar hai mm. I'm rattling off all the lovely films yeah. that yeah. I know <laughs> <laughs> but there is no way I mean when I first saw Ritik in mm-hmm. his in his father's office his photographs I was amazed I said wow this guy look this like good looking guy he's so he's good looking yeah. so he looks like a like a Greek god I yeah. told his father mm-hmm. Rakesh Roshan I mean, he was launching him, you know. So, and uh, but you still don't know that it's going to be as big as it is yeah. because it hasn't gone out to the audience, and th- they are the ones who make a film they like make huge it and big. So you can't really predict that while you're making the film. You do hope for the best. You hope that yeah, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> that's just hopeful. So it's it's you know what I mean. You know, yeah. I mean, everybody goes out to make a success, and you select a subject that you think is going to be. is going to resonate with the audience blah yeah. blah blah but that it actually will is that yeah. the same yeah upar wale ke hath mein takdeer hai how does it feel when a film flops like i just uh, disown it completely yeah, i run away from it i always knew it's not going to be i always knew, knew, it. I what, always knew what it what movie what are you talking about <laughs> was i in it i was not in it well that is movie kaun si picture ki baat kar raha hu tum yaar no i mean see i'm just i'm just joking point no. with this is that Nobody remembers a flop, man. Yeah. Nobody true. wants to know, and in, in our film industry, it's like <clears throat> bad news. If it's a yeah. flop, everybody shuts up and moves on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody, obviously, nobody wants to even talk about it. Yeah. But careers do get in, in, affected. Okay. Yeah. So that's a combination as well. Not only mm-hmm. do you have to get into the movies, but you pray, and you ha- it will be completely fortunate yeah. that the movies that you're doing are successful. Yeah. That's how you get more work. Yeah. If your if your <laughs> if your movie is a flop, nobody's going to give you work, man. Yeah. So it's the way it is. The world over the the True. film business, anywhere you go in the world, not just Bombay film industry, it you it lives off its success. Yeah. I mean, 
you got to be successful yeah you, it's got to it's got to work in the audience i mean yeah. you take any actor in the world i mean you're a star because the audience wants to see you yeah yeah and the, if you're a guy and the women like you mm -hmm. so i i don't know any single sort of male superstar that doesn't have sex appeal for yeah. the women yeah mm -hmm. and that makes you a star i mean you may not be the greatest actor on earth Yeah. But as they say, no, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> the women want to be with you. The guys want to be you. That yeah. absolutely, yeah. you um, said it. I mean, the women want to be with you. The guys want to be you, and that's what is is yeah. called stardom. Yeah. yeah. When you started acting, like when you started doing movies, uh, were you single or were you? I was single. Yeah. Okay. I started very. I what started very young. Like? Huh? What was that like? <laughs> like when you were, you're on. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> loved it. That's why I got into the movies. Wow, this is like I, I actually started from the theater. So I was doing mm. plays at the time in Bombay, musical theater and this mm. and that. So that's why one of the reasons to go to the theater and not become a pilot was rehearsals were fun, man. There were all yeah. these lovely women and there were all these yeah. fun yeah. things, the piano was playing, and I mean it was just cool, cool place to be in. Yeah. yeah. So. and definitely i mean it was it was it, there was definitely a bonus that most of the women who come to be actresses i mean are a pretty decent looking yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you're you're being modest <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's an incentive yeah. yeah it's like kind of a magnet that draws you yeah. there you just hope that you, you, know, hope you, can, make, you, can, well. you can make a living out of it yeah which is another ball game altogether <laughs> yeah because if you flop then all the women also take off in opposite, <laughs> yeah, yeah. opposite direction man <laughs> next hero this, next hero is this the is this the way it is you know but yeah mm. it's the whole atmosphere but for me the biggest bonus that i can put my finger on and being in the film industry <coughs> was the places i've traveled to mm -hmm. with the movies that i that came to me as a super cool bonus because yeah. i never dreamt that i would go to these places So that was a bonus that came to me which in in the movies which was really cool. Yeah. Because because of the movies you go to like yeah. certain places that are terrific yeah and you know it's all looked after and you know you yeah. can what are some of these places that you went to well, like the one that comes to mind is that with the legendary Mr. Shashi Kapoor mm. who's a legendary hero mm -hmm. and one of the by far the best looking leading man ever in yeah. in in the, in the country and and anywhere. but he was doing this film called ajuba which was being he he wanted it was a indo russian collaboration and so we shot in 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 russia in 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 moscow but the point is we went there when it was still the ussr it wasn't okay. it oh, wasn't, wasn't like russia and yeah. hadn't all these countries hadn't sort of mm -hmm. uh, you know that the divisions hadn't yeah. been made and it was still under the soviet it was called the soviet soviet union, soviet, soviet union. Yeah. So the whole dynamic there was really, you know, I thought that that uh, you know we in India were like mm -hmm. you know sort of um, short of stuff and things, yeah, but yeah. that Soviet Union was an eye opener. Yeah. That the kind of shortages and the kind of issues they had with mm -hmm. with uh, with all the you know just normal things Basics. like going to a shop and things, unavailable food. So Moscow was was really exciting. because we were in Gorky Studios mm. which is a famous studios in in Moscow so that part of it was very good the costumes were absolutely amazing the so working with them was really good because they have a very good work ethic mm. and then we went to a place called Yalta mm. Yalta is on the Black Sea yeah yeah it's on the coast on the Black Sea and it's where the famous World War 2 Yalta conference was held mm. with Stalin Churchill and, uh, and Roosevelt they had their big okay. sorry Churchill yeah Churchill Salon Roosevelt they had the big Yalta conference and it's such a beautiful place and we were there in the summer that when it's not misty in Yalta and you go thing you can see Istanbul wow right across the the black sea so it's and it's amazing because at night you can see the whole city of Istanbul all mm, lit up it's lit up mm. and it's really fascinating to be able to see another country all together yeah. mm -hmm. and i mean i don't think i would have gone to yalta on my own if someone yeah. told me you want to go for a holiday where would you go i yalta i wouldn't say yalta <laughs> i would say like, well it's not on your mind where else is that you <laughs> kind of thing not on my mind yeah, exactly yeah. then there are other places which i suppose i would have gone to like yeah. switzerland 
Switzerland, yeah, I've been I've been Switzerland. I've been to Baku recently to shoot oh, a movie. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Yeah. So these kind of places, you know. I mean, there's the West, which I mm. suppose somewhere down the line all of us will go to yeah. America and to the UK so, and to Europe. You know? Yeah. But these East European countries I've sh- I've shot in uh, in Latvia as well. Mm. Mm. So uh, you know, this is yeah. fascinating places. Which one of these places had the best woman? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> well, now I'm curious. Yeah. I'm telling you these. All of them. East European women. East European. They are fantastic. Mm. <laughs> That's a new one. Go DT. So, 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 so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to go there when I was married and also it was wow. like, oh. like <laughs> but uh, they're very good looking mm-hmm. very good looking well kept everything <laughs> <laughs> fit. <laughs> fit, fit 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 looking women <laughs> uh. yeah. European women that's like people look up to like the US and because the women from there are usually famous like either they're like a singer or an actress but then there'll be some like women in a latvian village somewhere where it's like she's probably Way the most than, yeah. attractive yeah. become a supermodel out of nowhere yeah. and look at all the russian, the russian models and thing i mean you know now that it's opened up you find a lot of uh, those east european and the russian mm-hmm. models i mean you know they are supermodels so yeah, yeah i mean it's it's that's what it is you're right i mean you know the you know the american singers they yeah. they're good as well it's just genetics like at the end of the day oh, i have to i have to say yeah there has to be some some kind of genetics in it because though it's not just one or two i mean you when we went to the soviet union it was like dozens of them i mean yeah. they were just stunners i mean <laughs> like like wow what's this <laughs> it's not like just one odd woman that you see so yeah. i have to i have to say somewhere that You okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> He's a little excited. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> well, bless you. Thank it's you. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I tend to think ki it is genetic, could be genetic. Yeah. I mean, I don't know from that point of view. But that's what we used to all say. Ki yaar ki itni saari ko khoobsurat ladkiyan kahan se aa gayi hai? Ek do theek hai lekin yaar ye to kahin bhi dekho. You all are just walking and telling each other idhar dekho udhar dekho. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Are wow, look. Oh god. like mind boggling <laughs> did you speak to any huh did you speak to any or yeah, like yeah, i'm, I'm the, an actor in, from in india the, <laughs> they were only familiar with raj kapoor and mithun chakravarti yeah. because oh, disco dancer had released by then okay. i'm talking mm-hmm. i'm talking uh, 88 89 around 88 <laughs> okay. 87 88 none of you were born yeah, yeah. yeah. 10 years till we were born yeah, yeah. so the disco dancer first of all raj kapoor was very famous in russia because all his movies used to go there and they yeah. loved him mm. everywhere <coughs> like yeah mm. and n- not just not just in russia but raj yeah. kapoor was a ra- yeah. raj kapoor yeah. is a legend but the other movie when we went there the movie that had just released was disco dancer oh, wow. with mithul chakravarti yeah. yeah and that was just to be the conversation people say oh indian actor mm-hmm. you know mithul so i said yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i know mithul man he's my he's old my buddy friend. do you want to yeah. meet him <laughs> 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 we like great conversation <laughs> openers <laughs> and the indian food mm-hmm. yeah. because um i mean it's sad but you know they they, they you know we used to get shashi kapoor was a wonderful producer so outside our hotel room there was always a dabba mm. because food is very difficult you know restaurants yeah. close early and at that time it was tough and we had a, there were a lot of vegetarians in our unit yeah. mm. so in, in the soviet union when we went there it, it was a challenge you know yeah so very kindly shashi kapoor who's mm. not only was he a legendary wonderful producer to have a dabba mm. a food different outside the rooms and which is to have the regular sab dal roti sabzi mm. one non vegetarian so that you know the people could have a pro- have a proper, proper meal. meal yeah and that was another ice breaker kind of thing yeah. i mean you know we just yeah. want to have dinner you know yeah, come to my hotel room have a dabba you pull out your dabba for any day come and have some dal come, come and have some dal chawal <laughs> <laughs> yeah dal chawal bol now <laughs> now work here though <laughs> now that's <laughs> definitely yeah. like now now it yeah. doesn't work yeah. no 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 nobody's interested in dal chawal those days it was like yeah it was like a huge big 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 deal yeah 
Dal Chawal was your wingman. Yeah. <laughs> Dal Chawal. Sabzi. Yeah. So now it's difficult. Now it's just like texting online. Now it's just, it's all changed. I mean, it's all you know. Uh, you don't know who you're texting. You don't yeah. know who's who. It could be a, some man. Yeah, somewhere. I mean, you know, anybody can put anybody's photo there and say, yeah. hey, you know, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so I mean, most of the time you just ignore it. Yeah. And stick to the old, traditional way of actually meeting people, which seems to have become a rarity now. I mean, yeah. but I make it a point to to go out and meet people one on one, as best I can. In fact, mm. even when people call me for meetings for like for when they want to narrate something to me. Mm-hmm. As my heck, I mean, most of the time I like to. Sometimes you got to do it, you know, on a conference call or virtually. But like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I I prefer something like this so we can yeah. sit in front of each other, we can hear the tone of voice, you know who it is, yeah. And um, that seems to be sort of going away, man. You know, a lot of mm-hmm. people. Yeah, and texting is like painful because I like it for making plans. We're like, I'll see you here at this time. Okay, done, done. But when you're trying to have a conversation on text, it's just so painful. I'm very challenged texting. I mean, yeah. I keep I keep my texting. I I I've, I like the voice message business. Yeah, yeah. I use that quite a bit. You know, even with she loves to text me. Yeah. <laughs> I get I'm, I go crazy because I mean I can't I can't I can't you can't keep up far. with that. I can't speed. keep up with the yeah. speed of of texting. So I immediately press the record button and say what you want to say. <laughs> I mean, I find that. I find that way better, and I can mm-hmm. express myself. Yeah, you so, understand the tone also. Yeah, yeah the, the tone of the voice, and this yeah. that's that's a really good uh, uh, sort yeah. of uh, tool. What about like slang? Do you know like Gen Z slang? I'm not sure. I do. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, just, I have my own slang. I mean, right. I'm Gen. I'm I'm Gen A. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, G- generation ancient. <laughs> so, uh, I have my own slang which we used to use, but I'm I'm not, I'm not sure it's what like what is yeah. What was the slang back then? Tell um, us some words. We'll try to guess if we'll try to guess what they mean. Yeah, and then but, we'll but give you. Tell me, tell me something, then I can tell you if there was a slang uh, to it because okay, everything had its own kind of like mm-hmm. some word that you would say a lot. Like yeah. now we have I don't know what do we say. There is no, uh, no, but that's no. not used a lot. Yeah, like like some word you're used to okay, throw around like quite a lot. We say I'm I'm gonna bounce. That means I'm leaving. Bounce. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice one. Yeah, yeah. I wanna bounce. We used to say split. Split. Mm. Yeah. That's split. Let's, split. Huh? Let's peel off. Split. Peel, peel off. off. Yeah, peel yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> so like the banana peel off. Yeah, it's like an Air Force kind of term. Oh, okay, okay, flying okay. from there yeah. huh. when they used to like thing mm. it's called peeling off. Okay. So yeah. it's okay, I'm peeling off, yeah. or I'm splitting. Mm. But yeah. now bounce, yeah, my son uses a lot of bounce, yeah. so I figured bounce means I'm going to bounce yeah. away. Yeah, I'm leaving. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> got to yeah. bring this back, bro. I like the peel off. <laughs> <I like laughs> yeah. We'll start using we'll it. We're going to peel off. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll give you more slang. You try to like guess. guess for yeah, it. okay. Yeah, tell me. Okay, Shal, what uh, do you want to do? Like, do you know what does slaps mean? Slap. Yeah, yeah. slaps. S-L-A-P. I'll use yeah. it in a sentence. Yeah, use it in a It's like spelling. That shit slaps. Okay, uh, the coffee kind of, slaps. Uh, I, I the coffee of, slaps yeah. means it it has an impact. Yeah, it's yeah, like really good. Shit slaps means like it it, it wakes yeah. you up or like uh, it's like it's a really supper. good. Yeah, it's like a wake up. Yeah, yeah. like boom, I got like slapped. The, the pani puri at this place slaps. That slaps, means it's yeah, okay. like great. It's like really That's a good. nice one. I like yeah. slaps. <laughs> okay, then um, I suppose for slaps we used to say that. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's um, I don't know if you say pani puri is really co- is really good or really cool or. Mm. I mean, you know something mundane like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't think we had as good as slaps. Yeah, I think yeah. we have a list here. Yeah, we've got a list. Got we've a compiled list. a list. <coughs> oh, okay. I'm going to use slaps. It's a good one. Yeah, it's yeah. a good word. This one. This thing you really go slaps. around just saying. Oh. Man, this <laughs> this <laughs> slap, chick, slap. She slaps. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real. This is a real. Not literally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. What about no cap? No cap. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, wait, we'll think of how do we use it in a sentence. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'll be like, bro, that girl just texted me. Yeah. Then. And then you're like, really? I'll be like, no, no cap. cap. Yeah. <laughs> no, I still can't figure it out. <laughs> no cap is like, I'm not lying. This yeah, is it's true. like no lie. No lie. No yeah. lie. Okay. Yeah. So no. No yeah. cap. So cover, uncovered. Cap is like. Cap is like you're, you're capping. Ah, so like you're, cap means you're, you're covering something. Yeah. So this is, uh, no cap. Okay. Uh, capping means like no not filter. Capping no means lying. Yeah. Huh? Capping means lying. When you say I've 
like someone caps mm -hmm. it means they're lying to you oh, okay yeah. so when you say no ah, cap means no lie is, oh, exactly yeah, yeah it's topi pehna iski topi uska sar that kind of topi laga raha hai yeah so he's capping right now yeah, yeah. i'm yeah. capping <laughs> you're capping right now absolutely okay then there is like w and l uh, i have no yeah. clue man this this is actually it's very self explanatory l. once we'll you'll understand yeah. it yeah so it's I'll like do. i went out and i took an l So taking an L is like taking a loss. Took L a, is loss. L. W is a win. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like, I let's thought say L was I leak. I went on and took a leak. <laughs> I took a leak. <laughs> so close enough. Close enough. But okay. So you say I took an L means I, I took a loss. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. I tried talking to this girl, yeah. but I took an L. Yeah. Means I didn't. Yeah. 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 Like if you come to me and say, like my movie just did a hundred crores, and I say W. Like yeah, winner. That's yeah. A win. win. That's yeah. a win. Yeah, that's a like win. Like it's a good W is a good thing. L is a bad thing. Yeah, it's a hit. It's a strike. Yeah, yeah. and there's something in the middle. It's that's mid. mid, which is mid. Mid. M I D. Mid. Mid. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. that movie is mid. Like it's okay. Mid, okay. Well, it's like a it's mid a twenty is, crore movie. Mid is uh, <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> mid. Small amount. Yeah. Twenty CR. Twenty CR for Chilla movies. <laughs> mid is mediocre, right? Yeah. yeah. Mid is sorry. Yeah. Mid is short form for mediocre. I guess. For mediocre. Yeah, like it's oh. not done. Mid, yeah. I mean, it's it, spelling wise, no. Yeah. Not yeah. spelling wise. Mid yeah. is mid. I mean, mid it's is like mid. mid range. Yeah. yeah. It's not. Mm. It's not an L. It's not a W. It's yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Or gap. Or gap. Then we have like we have sus, sus. <laughs> sus. Yeah. 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 S U S. Sus. So we which we use. We can. I, I can't sus this out. Is uh, that no? Right? No. Sus. What does no? that mean? No, that means I can't figure it out. Yeah, it's, I can't. It's no. You know, Now there's a different out meaning. Things was it. like you know we got to figure it out. Yeah, I can't suss this. Your suss is like short form for suspect. Suspect. Yeah. Yeah. Like whenever someone's a suspect, they're doing yeah, some you're, you're shady being, activity. Yeah, you're like. If like the guy wouldn't tell me what he was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was he being was sus. sus. He was being yeah. sus. <laughs> that guy was, was being, being sus. sus. He was being yeah. totally yeah. sus. Yeah, <laughs> I should have told him. <laughs> 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 Next time you meet him, you know what to say. Man, <laughs> you're being totally sus. Uh, yeah. yeah, cool. Suspect. Then, okay, yeah, yeah. sus. But yeah. we used to use sus as a slang was uh, for figuring like, out something. Like I don't get that it. I could suss this out. Yeah. What is that short for? But like, like. No, I think it's just a word. Is it a word though? No, I don't think so. It was just no? a slang. I mean, it's just yeah. uh, uh, suss this out, you know. Yeah. Okay, this one is one of my favorites. Simp. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> simp. Simp. Yeah. yeah. I thought you said pimp. No, no. <laughs> they, <laughs> they have opposite simp. meanings. <laughs> simp. 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 Simple. Uh, no. Yeah, mm. but like it's like. No. 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 So. Yeah. Wait, how, how do we give an example? Okay, so let's say. Let's say I've been. Texting someone, this mm. girl, mm. and she doesn't reply. And I text her ten times, and she's like, "Hi, whatever." Like very distant, and she's like not interested. But I keep going. And then I I say to him, "You're being a simp, man." Like, oh yeah. right, right, right. Simp is like going way like persistent. persistent. Yeah. Like a no, not even persistent. It's like someone who's actually not getting anywhere. Yeah. With a it's girl. like you're being you're giving too much in return of yeah. nothing, basically. But simp. Doesn't uh, connect with that. In, I mean, if if if, if you tell me what it is, mm. but I would never figure out that simp would mean like yeah, yeah. like yeah, wimp yeah, yeah. or yeah. what? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. yeah. That it'd be like this guy who's just like absolute doesn't Ek take. Ek tarfa pyar basically. Uh, doesn't take no for an answer yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. You know, And it's like, like not even in the good way. No, uh, not in the good way. Like yeah. like a. It's like a loser you know. who's just trying yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you're a simp. Yeah, you're a yeah. simp. You can use it as a verb also. Like stop simping. Stop simping. Ha, verb forms. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we are having verb forms and <laughs> adjective forms. I don't know where it. these words come from. Most of them, they're just yeah. like that. Yeah, no, it's just like yeah, it's difficult to figure out. I think even we're too old for that at are this point. Are you too old for it as well? Yeah. yeah. So you can just imagine where I'm from. <laughs> like, <ooh. laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, certain slang words we, certain slang words came, you know, in in during our time when we mm -hmm. were like in our, when I was in my twenties and rock, rock and roll era was very yeah. big. So yeah. a lot of A lot of the slang came from from rock and roll, mm -hmm. you know, from bands and yeah. music music related slang. It was used in songs and things. Yeah. And uh, you never know where it comes from. Yeah. Right? It's very difficult to 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 sort of be able to find Gauge its source. Where it's from. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to find it in the dictionary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's for sure. Now they've started adding these words in the dictionary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's surprised. something called an urban dictionary. So the yeah. urban dictionary explains all these terms. Yeah, for because, people like us. I mean, uh, terms like bazaar and mm -hmm. 
kenara and things that bazaar is is now yeah. in the dictionary it's a dictionary yeah. word which is basically a, yeah. so a couple of other uh, sort of uh, words which are mm-hmm. actually hindi in, in indian so yeah. words but they are indian origin yeah indian origin but then the dictionary now hmm yeah that's that because I, mean, i mean it probably becomes so colloquial yeah. That, yeah. you know they really could have like guru guru yeah, yeah. absolutely good example yeah. absolutely guru pandit pandit yeah pandit was now become very sort of you know he's he's like a, he's like a pandit, he's a pandit. yeah <laughs> <laughs> no so like for f- <coughs> in sports brahman, brahman as well yeah 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 uh, in sports the people who are expert are called pandit like a football pundit, pundit. Yeah, yeah pundits yeah they yeah. call pundits gurus um yeah you mentioned the rock and roll era so how was that like back then it was how crazy. much did it, it change crazy. india or like your parting scene and all of that i i mean i was i grew up with the rock and roll i always wanted to mm-hmm. be a rock star yeah because i was doing musicals also i really fancied myself to be get into a band somewhere mm-hmm. and become a rock and roller yeah. however Uh, so I mean, a lot of people wanted to be rock stars. I mean, yeah. you know, this this kind of thing. You're a rock star, and Nara is fun. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm flattered. Yeah. You're a rock star. Anyway, I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> um, so I mean, it, th- there was no connect because uh, here we were trying to sort of be like these bands. You know, mm. Queen was big, Zeppelin yeah. was big, Black Sabbath. A lot of lot of really Pink Floyd. Mm. A lot of these bands were were really big bands. and we all wanted to be rock stars we scored the rock concerts but then i wound up in the movies which has got nothing to do with uh, yeah. you know it's a rock and roll music because if you the band thing didn't work out mm. <clears throat> so i mean how do you make a living i mean you know you you can't be a shadow rock star yeah, yeah. You know? nobody's going to so give you yeah but it had a huge influence on on me in terms of uh, um you know the music was like mm-hmm. fantastic i grew up with that music so we listened to a lot to the beatles to mm. bob dylan um you know all these other bands that i mentioned and um, so it 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 influenced the kind of music that i listened to because and at that age then i listened to a lot of hindi music also and you find that a lot of the influence now is also from a, yeah. a different kind of western genre of music mm-hmm. so it's good that you know m- music sort of c- cuts across all boundaries yeah but I mean it had an impact on my life I mean mm-hmm. it, it was very important in my life at that stage mm-hmm. and still is I still love rock bands not yeah. not as much as I used to mm. but yeah it, it influenced me uh, quite a bit in in I suppose in terms of uh, um you know my personality and mm-hmm. and sort of who I am and what I bring with me and I was doing musicals in any case so my you know in the theater I was I was doing musical so that was also helpful. Yeah. What about hip hop? Did hip hop come later? The, the? hip hop music. Hip hop came yeah hip hop came hip hop was around for a long time hip hop jazz uh, you know uh, the blues yeah. mm. all all these great singers were influenced by the blues I mean yeah. Elvis Presley yeah. uh, the, there was the whole blues era you know and rock and roll with Chuck Berry and all these famous black musicians who brought that kind of feel that soul and and the uh, chubby checker mm. all the all the all the black grace louis armstrong mm. so there was that whole cultural shift in terms of the sound the way it changed you know and uh, it influenced a lot of big performers i mean you know if you if you like look at the rolling stones mick jagger they all talk about that they they started they wanted they began by listening to blues albums yeah they listened to the blues and that's why you know they that's what influenced them mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, even uh, elvis presley you know mm-hmm. he he was he was he was blues gospel yeah in his style and he, he cultivated a a style for performing but his influences were gospel yeah in yeah. the deep south i mean that's what he grew up listening to black. choirs and chanting and, bla- yeah. and black gospel music yeah no. so that's was his influence so a lot of the blues were influential hip hop i'm not really sure but i think hip hop may have derived a little later i think it mm. it came with the more of the teeny bopper kind of thing yeah. hip hop i'm not sure yeah but um but you don't listen to a lot of 
you know, I listen to music and then someone tells me, that, hey, you like hip hop? And I say like, yeah. play me a track. And yeah. is, mm -hmm. what is, so I've, I've never really, I'm only beginning to, to beginning to label things because you got to put a, it seems yeah. that, you know, you've got to define it with, with categorize, thing, categorize it. Yeah. it. But hip hop, I'm sure I've, I love a lot of hip hop, yeah. but I mean, I mean, I, it, it has a connotation, you know, mm -hmm. that hip hop is hip hop. I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. the words hip hop yeah. tell you. So yeah, I like hip hop. I like all forms. I like different kinds of music. It just depends on the track, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By that time, you this music would come from where, like cassettes, or no, we used like to have vinyls, records, oh, yeah, like yeah. proper vinyls, mm -hmm. and uh, you know turntables. So then the cassettes came. Yeah. And then of course everything went no, digitalized, but we. Even e even when cassettes came, I used to have a huge stack of vinyls. Do you still you know, have them? 33 RPM. I don't know where they've gone, man. I really <laughs> miss it now. Yeah. I used to have a whole <laughs> stack of albums because that was the only thing you got. Yeah. You bought albums. I mean, 33 RPM, those big ones. Yeah. And then you get 45 RPM, the little ones. And used to have like two songs on it, mm. one on, on each side. And you had the 33 album, and the vinyls were fantastic. Half yeah. of our audience right now is just yeah, like, yeah. What, what half is of the audience got? has no idea. We have yeah, vinyls. We've yeah. got no vinyls. <laughs> yeah. Record, Baba. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure they have not seen was it. Was that like a common thing or is it just like rich people had it and then no, uh, no, everyone had it? That was what was that music that was, was a form of media. Yeah, that's the way music was, yeah. was printed. It was on vinyl hmm. because they didn't have tapes. I mean, for that, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Then tape, the whole tape business came much later. Then yeah. you got cassettes. Yeah. But the quality of sound on vinyl was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, you had to, it was a big thing, you know, you used to match, even today, people who are, who are connoisseurs, you know, they keep their, they keep their vinyls. A lot of people I know have hung on to their vinyls. I mean, I wish yeah. I had, but um, it, they went away somewhere. And uh, they hang on to, they have their vinyls and they have the whole system. Mm. It's, it's like, it's like a special occasion, you know, they get the right yeah. turntable, the right speakers, the amplifiers. And really it has, it has a, it has a totally different sound to digital. Yeah. yeah. Not that I have anything against digital. The way it's been pressed. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. A, for me, it's a far more personal, far more warmer sound yeah. on vinyl. And yeah. right, and as we speak, it's becoming increasingly popular. Yeah. So people it's today who have records, you know, the old records, I mean, you know, there's a value to that. Yeah. Some of yeah. the old bands, I mean, the reason why I'm kicking myself that I don't have my vinyls, they're very valuable. They're very valuable. You know, I still have the Rolling Stones, I still have Beatles records, wow. Bob Dylan, yeah, well, whole stacks of them, you know, mm -hmm. because that's how you listen to music. And that's yeah. how ancient I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other day I had gone to the Chor Bazaar and there also they have these stores which just have vinyl records. Yeah. And then yeah. he also said, he said that most, almost all of them still work, which is amazing that he's yeah. kept them in such good condition. But there there, there are collectors who keep these vinyls, they keep them in yeah. good condition. But then, you see, you need you need a turntable for it. Yeah. yeah. As as far as cassettes became so much more convenient. I mean, you it's know, a you small could box. buy in your car, yeah. you could put it in any way. Until they it. got like messed up and you had to put a pen and like... Yeah, that was there. Yeah. 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 And always, <laughs> the tape went all over the place. Yeah. But the, it was so so much more convenient and then... Obviously, the famous image we have is these guys carrying yeah. the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Were you one of those guys? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, not, didn't go as far as that. It was sort of boogie down the road. <laughs> <laughs> boogie was, uh, was, was yeah. a slang we used. I boogie, was just boogie. about to say boogie is boogie, boogie, boogie down the road, man. Uh. You know, if, you, if you had this kind of transistor thing and you were, yeah. like, and you were black, yeah. and you wore one of these bucket hats, yeah. and you had <laughs> boogie down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Boogie woogie. What was the um, party nightlife clubbing scene like back in the day in like <coughs> in Bo it Mumbai? Was, uh, it was okay. I mean, we thought at that time it was like really great. Is it like how they show it in the movies? There's like this one l long couch. No, <laughs> and like, there's some that was that was something about the movies that drove me crazy. No, no, it was not parties, a we went to were never like that. You know, yeah. were sitting around mm. the couch and yeah. someone playing the piano. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> Discotheques had started, yeah. so there was one place called the Bullock Cart, which used to have jam sessions. So there used to be mm. like discotheques that did afternoon gigs. Wow. And so all the college kids would go there, mm. and we would 
I was also we were in college, so we'd go there. We didn't have much money, mm. yeah. so you could just buy a coke or something, you know, mm. get some Coca Cola or whatever was there. I love how days. you had to correct. <laughs> <laughs> you added the Coca Cola. <laughs> cola, cola. How much pocket money? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking how much money you had. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, uh, when I said I didn't have money, yeah. I'm just just about had you know, three people should share one bottle of Coca. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so there were discotheques. The discotheques had come, so we used to go a lot to discotheques, which were the big thing. Mm-hmm. The Taj Mahal Hotel had a really good discotheque, and then all, all the other. But they were, except for Bullock Cart, mm-hmm. which was at Kala Ghoda, which was outside a five star hotel yeah M- delhi had a few discotheques that were outside five star hotels mm. there's mm. one called the cellar mm. it was one of the first discotheques to open it was like in a cellar down yeah. at connaught place it was a swing everybody had long hair and you know they used to freak mm. out and you know that that was that was the the scene yeah. and there weren't many of them so yeah. you know discotheques was where you went to which they call clubs now mm. there were very few bars like there are now now there's much yeah. more action because there's standalone bars like pubs and bars and all yeah. thank god <laughs> in those days i mean you had to go to a five star hotel mm. to th- th- there were some irani joints where you could get beer yeah but that's what all you could get in these in these bandra standalone was much places. better when mm. i when i grew up they had these little little places where you could get a beer but there were very few sorry there were very mm. few like bars you know mm. where you could sit down properly and get a drink without getting busted yeah. or if you're in you know when are the cops coming kind of thing yeah. so there were like some night bars which used to you know used to go in from the back and the shutters mm-hmm. and things like that and you could drink late at night and mm-hmm. so you know sort of speak easy as they call yeah. it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> that's a term that come came from america the speak easy what does speak easy mean it's like speak easy is like you know where everything is cool you know where you're not being A speakeasy is where you can be open with yourself. Okay. You can speak and you can talk about certain things. And basically, it's a it's like a bar, which is uh, it's like an underground bar. Yeah, it's mm. like an underground place where there were no restrictions on the kind of things you were supposed to talk about. So speakeasies were that yeah, spoke easy. Yeah, like just <laughs> chill, like we're doing now. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. you could chill there. What was it like before that? Like you had to be proper and speak like, uptight. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Just, the, 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 that whole era when we grew up in in, in the 70s and 70s it was a change from the formal see rock and roll had come by then mm-hmm. the rock and roll changed everything i mean the whole whole bit of uh, you know the formal and the ballroom dancing and people dressing up to go out which is cool in my dad's time yeah. you know you had to, <laughs> if you went to the if you went to the club you had to wear a tie and a jacket and you know mm. suit up hopefully yeah, you had to have a a lady with you someone to dance yeah. with yeah a lady you couldn't take a guy with you yeah. so i was like <laughs> at that time no? <laughs> that time. So, i mean from there the 60s just revolutionized everything in the 70s mm-hmm. it was rock and roll so discotheques came dressing was far more casual mainly jeans and just hanging out and you know whatever was was going in those yeah. days bell bottoms were like the mm. thing super fashionable yeah Not anymore, right? No, I'm just coming they, back. They now. come and go. No, I mean, go. I've seen some people who carry it off really well. Jackie, yeah. he looks, he, he wears bell bottoms now, and he looks really great in it. That Jack Jackie Shroff, yeah. yeah, he looks so cool in bell bottoms. Yeah. yeah, but he, some people can carry it off, mm. and some people cannot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they need to know about that. Glad you said it. <laughs> some people can't. I can't carry bell bottoms. I mean, I, I, you know, even even when they were when you were compelled to yeah. to wear bell bottoms mm-hmm. because it was. the fashion yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah so you know it, it it became far more liberalized far more mm. easy but nothing like now now is the best time man yeah, yeah. it's absolutely the best i mean there's so many places you can go to social clubs so do you like going out now uh, yeah do you, like, uh, do you enjoy I, clubbing and like i don't clubs? i don't really like sort of those like in the old days the discotheques where there's loud music yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I prefer to go to places where you know you can speak a bit and yeah. chill out and you know sort of hang out yeah. and even actually I like places where you can if there's a game on you know and there's yeah. a bar yeah. kind of those kind of socials social places sometimes yeah, yeah just just so uh, you know pubs yeah to uh, or do you watch football or I watch cricket? football I love football I love really? watching football wow. I like watching cricket which is not surprising yeah, yeah. it is like india but i love watching football what the club do you support or watch 
You watch um, I don't really support any club. Any, I, I, when I was in the UK, when I was doing Bombay Dreams with mm. Andrew Lloyd Webber and A.R. Rahman, let me drop a few really heavyweight <laughs> Heavy names. names. No, I was going to ask you about Bombay Dreams. Yeah, Bombay Dreams. So I was doing Bombay Dreams. At that time, uh, Tottenham Hotspur, mm. Which, mm. Is a, which is a London club, yeah. Yeah. They, the, the chap who's to, a very dear friend of mine now, he used to play cello because yeah. music yeah. is live mm. in Bombay Dreams. You know, on stage, they're, they're in the orchestra pit. And mm. So the cellist, a gentleman called Justin, <laughs> he told me that, do you want to watch a football match? Because Man United was playing Tottenham. Wow. So my son, one-sided game. Yeah, <laughs> my <laughs> son was a total Man United fan Ooh. from here. Huh. And, he was just like, and he still is. Yeah. I was like, wish you were, I, whoever gave me hospitality, I like that club. <laughs> yeah. So Tottenham Hotspur called us over and this guy had, Justin mm. had some passes at the, at the hospitalities. Yeah. You know, so we sat in luxury, there was champagne and there was food. Wow. So I was, Tottenham Hotspur became my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, wow. It's man, one of the cool. worst clubs to choose. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're a pretty decent club. They're a very good club. They have some, they've had some wonderful footballers. Yeah. yeah. And then I was living north of, in North London, so I was following Arsenal mm. for a while when they won the mm. they won the, the Premier League that year in two thousand and three. Three yeah. four season. So yeah, that and because Arsenal, where I was staying in in the north of London, mm-hmm. Arsenal football training ground was right there. Yeah. So actually, there was to be a, an Italian restaurant there in Radlett, mm. where Dennis Burkamp and mm. sometimes Terry Henry and that that lot, you know, that yeah. was the time they they used to come there. Wow. So. We could actually actually see them, yeah. Yeah. and they used to be training out there. So Arsenal was my. Do you tell them that you own a club called Aston? Like Aston <laughs> <FC>. <laughs> Maybe they, they want to sign. They was not yet done. Get them to sign. Aston FC was 2007. I, I did approach Dennis Burkham once, mm-hmm. and uh, it's like kind of not done, you know, when someone's having dinner. Yeah. But I was a bit besharam. I said, yeah. I'm, I don't know. That's the first time I saw him. I didn't know that he keeps mm. coming there. If I knew that he comes, then I'd have waited for yeah. him. So I sort of. He had finished, so you know they were sort of in a, you know in that sort of mood. Mm, you know, yeah. when dinner was over. So I walked up to him and said, like you know, did that thing. Love your football. You're a great yeah. fan and cool. Oh. Yeah, I said yeah. All right. I didn't ask him for a photo, an autograph, or anything. Yeah, fine. Now, you know, it's kind of fan moment. Yeah. And um, yeah, because it's it's different. I mean, there it's it's. They, they don't usually, unless you're like, if you're Dennis Bergen, you're hugely popular, yeah. so some people do come. Though they say that, oh, I don't want to disturb you, but they start with that line, but they are disturbing. Dis- disturbing. Yeah. 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 I really don't want to disturb you, but <laughs> can you take a photograph with my kid, my this, my yeah. that, yeah. I've got the whole family with me. So like, right, yeah. not disturbing <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've had a few, you know, fan moments here mm-hmm. and there. How yeah. is it shooting goal? Over there. Goal. Goal yeah. was uh, interesting. It was, mm-hmm. it was pretty good. Um, we were really excited when that movie came out because yeah. we were football fans and that was like the first Indian football thing but ever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what did you think of it? I'm going to ask you. <coughs> you're the audience here. I, I remember going with my friends to watch the movie and it was just really cool. Right. It was the cool thing to do. Yeah, it was like the movie. was It was a fun movie. Like the story was fun. Like... Yeah. And it was yeah. very Indian, like it was... Like Indians was, playing in England. So yeah, we were like, like oh, the story was is, fun, it was yeah. a fun story. John like, Abraham yeah. had actually... Like the footballing the ability wasn't great, obviously, because <laughs> the actors... I know, <laughs> I used to see them there. I, mean, I, wasn't, I wasn't one of the players, I was, had a different role. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But as to, as to, as to when quite a few of the scenes with that football ground where we were all shooting, yeah. the club, South... South, 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 Hall, United. South Hall United. <laughs> yeah. South Hall United. <laughs> Um, South Hall United, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, I used to watch them playing, and it was like, mm, okay. Yeah, I mean, after seeing Burkham and Andre, <laughs> you know, I mean, the st- standard of football in the UK is, is like insane. phenomenal. Even yeah. kids, I mean, yeah. these are superstars. Yeah. They're like they play English Premier League. Yeah. They're yeah. another, they're another level altogether. But I'm saying, just general kids. You see kids fooling around and street football, street football. Well, well not street, but they all have little, yeah. little yeah. grounds and things like that. You know, it's not. And, and you see these just a normal football match happening, and this and, and so then you're seeing good. Yeah, John see. Abraham kick the ball. <laughs> <laughs> he was good, man. He John was good. John, John, John was pretty good. Yeah. John was playing good. Uh, He's a good player. Yeah, he was good, um, and he practiced also. So yeah. John was committed to to the looking role. good, playing well, and it showed. Yeah. But 
I can't say that for everyone. Yeah. I mean, um, it, it was, it, yeah, I mean, but I mean, it, foot, football in the, in the UK and in the Western European countries, it's their main game. Like yeah. cricket is for us. Mm. Every now and then I see some little guy who's about seven, eight years old batting like yeah. crazy. And you yeah. say like, it's the same there with football. It's different yeah. levels. Yeah, I mean, mm. you know, it's it's their main game. Yeah. As, as far as like main games go, you know, like if you have a, a national game mm -hmm. in, you know, in Europe, I mean, I'd say it f it's football. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, that was <coughs> like, oh, you were like a villain in that movie. Sorry. You, were, you were the bad guy, right, in that movie? And kind of. Like, yeah. I, I, I can't remember the details of the role. I oh. knew that I was, had this club that... You yeah. were the owner of the club, owner basically. Of the, yeah, <laughs> and, uh -huh. and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say... a unsuccessful club. Yeah. No, I mean, you just couldn't sign John Abraham. You signed him also. <laughs> you signed him and then he didn't show up for the... And he just was match. like really sentimental, he so he went back to his yeah. own club. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> Ages ago, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. But when you play a bad guy in the movie, is it like when people watch that movie and they're like, like they hate that character? Is that like a compliment? It's it's sort of it's sort of strange, because um, it is a compliment that you know mm -hmm. they, they actually don't like you. Yeah. Yeah. Because audience associates you with the character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. So they say, man, you, you're such a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> and you and you don't even want to go down that road. That actually is not me as a role. But I mean, it does come as a compliment that, right, I did it so well yeah. that so-and-so so, so hits my guts. And it yeah. happened to me yeah. at Heathrow Airport in London. I was like, just about to get into the thing to mm. go to the boarding place. Yeah. And this girl came to me and she said, why do you, why did you beat Shah Rukh Khan so much? <laughs> why did you? She was like clearly and totally besotted and love with Shah Rukh. And she, the way she said it to me, I began to feel really terrible. Said, but why? Why did you hit him? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? So I said, well, he hit me as well. <laughs> he said, no, 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 that doesn't matter. <laughs> You're the bad guy is going to hit you. But why did you do this to him? So I said, well, you know, it's a movie and things like yeah. that. But, it, it it has a deep impact on on people's minds, yeah, particularly yeah. the people are vulnerable. Yeah. And when I when again it happened to me in the UK, mm -hmm. when I just I had done uh, Raja Dashrath's role, who's the who's Lord Ram's father mm -hmm. yeah. in Sia Ke Ram, which was on television. People started reading like, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, again at the airport. All these things always happen at airports. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. There's something about airports where everybody seems to come to you at an airport. Yeah. yeah. And these people came to me and said, "Sir, it's hard job." You know, yeah. Indians <laughs> from the Indian diaspora saying, "Maharaj Dasharat." <laughs> yeah. That's a so I was. I had just come from the bar. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was, I was saying, man, if these guys had seen me behind the bar, Raja Dasharat is like knock, knocking it back. Then they have gone like, oh, you, you know, you can't, you can't do this. So they caught me right. So I mean, I, you know, it, it, did you it, bless them? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I said, you know, jite ro bacho, out. So, but but you know, <laughs> bye bye. So I mean, you know, uh, people. That's the whole game. I mean, people associate you with with, with the, the character with, with, with the characters you play. That's why. When I said, you know, that social media for me mm -hmm. has become so interesting because yeah. I'm not, obviously I'm not that. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> something that I do for a living. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I create yeah. a character. Of course, it's a compliment. Yeah. When someone appreciates your work for whatever it is. Yeah. I've done good guys also, but nobody seems nobody to. Nobody remembers that. No, they do. I mean, I've they done do. good guy in some really successful film, Bunyad. Mm. I was like, oh, you know, everyone nodding. So, we're not too deep in yeah. movies. That's the issue. <laughs> so I guess, and I started getting these kind of roles because actually the first person to give me the, the film Ajki Awaz was mm. the, the great and legendary Mr. B. R. Chopra, who's yeah. a big thing. His son, Ravi Chopra, I did it. I did the movie with him. And Chopra Sahib told me, he says, you know, I want some strong actors. Yeah. He didn't say the word negative or villain. Mm -hmm. He said, I want for this role, I want a strong actor. And I see, I was doing a play at that time, which yeah. he said, I see that in you. Yeah. Tum ye cookie ke paas jao, ye role hai, tum ja ke karo. Yeah. Mm. So I went and I got Ajki Awaz, which was, I was like the 
meanest guy there. You know, it's like horrible. <laughs> My mother saw it and she said, "Wow, what's this? <laughs> Stop doing these kind of roles." <laughs> <laughs> So and you know I mean on my on my mother she reacted to it, it yeah. was like such a terrible guy yeah and it became a big hit mm and people are associating so you that's that's what is everybody's calling me for that's going to stop yeah. luckily bunyad came along mm. and it sort of softened yeah. the impact a bit yeah. Yeah. i was playing an honest guy an mm-hmm. is officer who will not take bribes blah 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 <laughs> yeah So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know you're playing a character. <laughs> Then you know that you really have to act. So he's just like this. <laughs> he's a squeaky clean guy, you know, just squeaky yeah. clean. He won't even take mitai on, wow. on Diwali. He's that clean. Wow. And his wife freaks out. Who Sony Razdan was yeah. playing my wife, Alia's, well, yeah. Alia's mother, yeah. yeah. And uh, she and there's that whole conflict where she, as the character says, mm. like. Where's the harm in taking some mitai on Diwali? So yeah. I said no, I can't take it because these people will come and ask me for favors after, and mm, I can't grant the yeah. favors. Mm. So I'm going to nip this in the bud. And I don't want the mitai. So, I mean, yeah. nothing comes free. That's like a complete yeah. contradiction in in, in thought character. in terms. Clean, <laughs> yeah. it's clean. Yeah. It was like squeaky clean. Yeah. So, so that helped in terms mm. of uh, kind of, I suppose. Seeing me in a different kind of role, yeah, and but also it didn't help because I got Bazigar after that. Yeah. Everybody remembers yeah. me for Bazigar. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I credit myself with doing, and I have. I've done mm-hmm. like several roles. Yeah, Madan Chopra, it is. Madan yeah. Chopra. Yeah. I'll never be able to live that one down <laughs> ever. I just have a question: Is that poster an original poster? Yeah, it is. I mean, per se, the look is. Yeah, yeah I don't know if this is like a original. second generation yeah. award. Yeah. But this is what's the poster? Yeah, because the thing is, when I went there, the shopkeeper sold it to me like that. He's like, "This is the original poster. <laughs> it was outside the, the theater the, the, and the, all." The 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 image is yeah. the original image. Okay. Now I mean, I don't know on what paper of this actually. If this yeah. was printed actually, there. If it was printed, then I don't know. Yeah. But this was the the Bazigar original with Kajol and Shilpa in the dark glasses. Who were my daughters in it? Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, this was this was this was the one. Yeah. Daddy, daddy. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the. That was very you know, accurate. In every movie, in every movie, like the rich girl always just goes like, "Daddy, daddy." Yeah. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> daddy. Can I have a Mercedes Benz? Yeah. Daddy, Which says, yeah, my baby. Yeah. Take it, take it. Just get out of my face. <laughs> take the car. Take the bungalow. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. But I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, and the movie it was it was like it was it was really um it was it was it was very different mm-hmm. because in this movie it's traditionally the leading man is the leading man yeah, yeah. you don't go around killing the leading lady mm. yeah. throw her off a roof yeah, <laughs> yeah. which is what shahrukh, shahrukh did in yeah. in bazi yeah. i mean he chucked her off the roof yeah. Yeah. so he's like a murderer <laughs> you know and when the when the movie was ready mm. and they had just have trials in those days to show the distributors mm. and the people used to run special shows yeah. mm. to see how the movie was and you'd call the pundits yeah and <laughs> they would come and always give you the wrong advice obviously yeah. because you know there's this saying that you you want to you want to cock it up on your yeah. own or do you want the professionals to come and cock it up yeah mm. so i mean however so everybody was like leaving the theater and we used to be standing in a row there abbas mastan bhai sahab mm. sharuk the producers and uh, i don't know if kajal shipa was there but i was there we were all standing there to see what the reaction was and people would like just call it patli gali in those days ha achhi bichara achhi bichara because nobody could actually come to get their head around yeah. the fact that, that the hero oh, what just happened had, yeah, yeah what just happened he chucked her off the roof and yeah. she dies <laughs> Yeah. Mm. It is not like she just broke her leg or something. Yeah. She just absolutely yeah. died. Yeah. Just killed her. <laughs> so he's like, "What the shit's happening here?" <laughs> <laughs> and they they could they could handle it. And Sharuk was absolutely so confident that you know everything was okay because mm. he said it was done for a reason, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it just became an iconic movie. I mean, yeah. it's just like amazing. So a lot of it, it broke the. the the sort of the set formula yeah, yeah. if you mm. if you like in those days where it was like had, a disrupting yeah that yeah, you actually yeah. had a leading yeah. man do this yeah. yeah unheard of i mean you know never yeah. i mean if you <laughs> if you took it to most and a lot of people refused it yeah in fact bazigar was refused by Uh, most production houses no by actors, actors. actors. Mm. for this very reason mm. this is how the hell i mean i'm a leading man how the hell can i kill her yeah, mm. yeah. 
That's yeah, that was the discussion we were also having. Yeah. Like back then, it must have been such a big thing for the it was the hero it, it to was, kill the girl. It was it was like really I mean, the producer at one point in time was in deep depression. He said like you know the, yeah. this movie's gonna bomb. Yeah. Nobody's gonna give me any money. Nobody's gonna distribute so. it. I'm finished, mm-hmm. ruined. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and it oh. comes out of nowhere because the movie, like most parts of it, is like very comical, and there's like funny stuff happening, and yeah. then suddenly it's and just suddenly like he just like <laughs> throws her off. He just tosses her, her off. Yeah, and the, that's the that's the other thing. The the it's like the cold bloodedness of it. Yeah, yeah. was like, like really the shock came that wow, what what happened? You know, he does it so. Yeah. it's actually so well, and so sort of, he's. Singing a song with her on on the yeah. song, yeah. on the roof, on the roof. And then just goes boom, you know, chucks yeah. her. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's part of the song, but no, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Even the soundtrack is iconic. I, have you heard the new version of the song? New version of Bazigar. So there's mm-hmm. a rapper by the name oh, of Divine. Oh, new version of Bazigar. There's yeah. a rapper. No, I've heard Bareilly ke Bazar mein Jhumka. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't heard any. I haven't heard Bazigar. Where's the rap version of Bazigar? There's, there's a rapper named Divine. Divine, he yeah, yeah. took sample the Bazigar title track. I may have heard it, but I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll goes, play it for you after. It goes very hard. <laughs> okay. That's another slang. Oh. When you say yeah. it goes hard, it means Means it's a very nice song. It goes hard. That's a cool one. Yeah. It yeah. goes hard, man. Yeah, yeah. So he like revamped the song, and it be- that song also became huge. Yeah, Bazigar songs were big hits, yeah. Yeah. and mm-hmm. these. These rappers, are t- some of them are like really brilliant. I mean, they the Indian rappers. They, yeah, they, no, I mean the, the mixers. Then they yeah, mix yeah. the songs mm. and tracks with some English tracks come yeah. in, and so they're really cool. They really yeah. do it well. What do you think of like people making remakes of old Bollywood songs? Like, do you like it or? I think it's I think it's par for the course. Why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah. why yeah. not? I mean, if you can, if you can give it another flavor, another. You can, you or can, if it's a bad re- remake. Well, that's <laughs> that's also part of. Uh, a part the, of the gig. I mean, yeah. everybody's not going to do it right. Yeah. Mm. There's always going to be the turkeys, mm. the, the, you know, the the flop. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> how we call them. <laughs> yeah, total flops. The, the Someone lemons. Has to take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're going to be. They're going to be. So I mean, that's that's okay. I mean, you know, some some of them get it right, some of them don't. Yeah. But per se, if you tell me that there's an old and some of them are so good, mm-hmm. some of the old songs that have been mixed. Uh, really, they really work for me. I mean, I yeah. think that absolutely. In fact, I believe they 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 sort of generate far more interest and they give birth. Yeah. These songs at least will be remembered. Yeah, true. And for tastes evolve. I mean, you know, the way the, the these songs were done and arranged mm. in that time. If you played it today, yawn. I mean, people mm. just yeah. say, not interested. But if you like. Sort of uh, amped it up, a jive it a bit, and spark it up, yeah. and put in a few little bit of masala and yeah. twist it around. I know, yeah. but a lot of people <laughs> say, "Oh, they've ruined the songs." So ruined the classic. Yeah, those are the those are the you yeah. know the purists. Yeah. I mean, that's why I say, "Yeah, yeah, our time, our time, just to our time, our time, who knows who? Yeah, come on, come on, our time. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. Our time, we used to do this. Which is okay. I mean, yeah. that's also a thing, but. I don't go with that, man. I mean, you know, zamana, zamana is gone. You know, things, mm-hmm. things change. Yeah. In when I think in our time when rock and roll came, I mean, it was uh, thanks. It was uh, it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. People say like, oh, what's keep this? Up with yeah, long hair, playing guitars, playing <laughs> Can't understand the words. Can't understand this. Can't understand anything. So he said, like, you know, you're, you're not supposed to understand it. You're supposed to groove with it, man. I mean, mm. you don't have to get into the big philosophy of the song. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's rock and roll, man. You just gotta have a good time. <laughs> the famous line was only rock and roll, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I say every generation has that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, people, some people go with change. Some people don't take change too. Mm. Uh, they don't take it too well. well. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's. No, you're I suppose this what we have to live with in every generation yeah. is that you well, you're know. adapting so well. Like, yeah, yeah. I, it's not. It's not that I'm making an effort to it. I mean, I mm. really don't mind it. I mean, I, li- I like some of the the beats like this. But in the bazaar, me, I just found it like you really like cool. You seem like a real yeah? fan of that song. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, like, <laughs> we'll play it it's after. A, it was a very old song. Yeah, but in the bazaar, me jumka again. Yeah, even then, it had a little bit of a, a nice yeah. thing to it. But what they've done with it is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. What are some new things that you like? New movies or new artists, new 
What's the What about damn job yaar <laughs> I'm not just kidding <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a bit slow for me in mm. the in the past uh, couple of months but that's happens you know there are couple of projects are coming up now mm. so I mean you know um yeah I'm, what can I say I mean I'm still working people still get onto the phone and offer me stuff yeah so can't complain about that yeah but i have i i find it's a bit repetitive and i find that uh it's not as exciting as i would like mm-hmm. but that is also something that is cyclic it happens all the time and suddenly something comes along which you really like yeah. yeah so you know it's it's the way it is i mean you know there's i'm i'm turning down quite a bit of stuff because yeah. i mean it's just you know on yep. ott you know it's mm-hmm. I was offered the same role by two different companies. I mean, it's the same role. Yeah. So I said, like, yeah. Jawaharlal Nehru. <laughs> <laughs> after after Bhagwan ka Bhag, yeah. uh-huh. and I did Jawaharlal Nehru. I did the role for Sham Benegal for Sambidhan. Yeah. yeah. Every week I used to get a call. <laughs> <laughs> that this is then, and all of them were Nehrus in the background, like like yeah. Like, yeah. like some like some extra. Yeah. So I said. You you can put it <laughs> close on anyone. I mean, there's nothing to it. In fact, yeah. one international filmmaker also came mm. and Nehru was Nehru was like yeah was insignificant. So I mean, yeah. I turned it down. Yeah, and so that is something that you know that people brand you. I mean, Nehru is any Nehru calls that it's you know. <laughs> so it's I, like Nelson I was, Mandela's I was, portrait. I was joking with Farhan Akhtar when yeah. for Bhag Milka Bhag mm-hmm. we had the ten year celebration. Yeah. So I was joking with Farhan saying to carry a bag around mm-hmm. from studio to studio with all Nehru's clothes and say anyone wants Nehru <laughs> Nehru here I am oh no Nehru okay next set <laughs> So I mean yeah people people go with uh, that kind of thing and that type casting which is yeah. a constant problem and when you look at it from that point of view producers are producers yeah I mean they they go by what has been established I mean they say right yeah. this guy what works exactly yeah. वो भाई अरे इसने इसमें अच्छा काम किया उसको बुलाओ दे डोंट से दैट ओह ही मे बी एबल टू डू दैट दैट हैपेंस इट हैपेंड विद मी विद हमेरा ही प्यार के आई मीन यू नो आमिर केम एंड ऑफर्ड मी दिस एब्सोल्युटली फ्रिक्ड आउट कैरेक्टर या बट दैट हैपेंस वेरी दैट हैपेंस बिकॉज़ आमिर न्यू मी वी वर डूइंग सो मच वर्क टुगेदर एंड वी वर वी न्यू ईच अदर पर्सनली सो ही but no producer is going to come and say that oh wow man you know i see the spark in this guy maybe he can do this role yeah no sir they, yeah. They, they, what has absolute, been done absolutely what you succeeded in and what you shown on the screen is what you get yeah. yeah so it's up to you as an actor to somehow maneuver your maneuver and get that opportunity when it comes maybe it's a small role or whatever so that you could show something else mm. yeah. you can showcase something else sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't yeah and that is the that is the challenge of uh, of of thing in look man type casting we call it type casting it's sort mm. of it's not a very healthy term nobody likes it but you tell me i mean now let's take with that and and i say this with all the respect and everything mm. let's take that superhero in the world called mr john wayne mm. yeah you, 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 do you know john wayne <laughs> john wayne Okay, John, John, I'm sorry, John Wayne. I took you two back. I'm so mm-hmm. sorry. I'm so no, sorry. just <laughs> if you'd give us some context, I'm pretty sure we'll be able. To I mean, he used to play the the, the tough okay. cowboy. Okay. Okay. Mm. Tough. <laughs> I'm sure we'll know who John Wayne yeah, is. Yeah, we might know him. No, we yeah, we know him. Might, I'm sure you, John Wayne. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah got, got it. Right. Yeah, We've seen got, his yeah. face. Yeah. Sure, sure. He was a superstar. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a superstar. and these <laughs> i love this <laughs> john wayne, john wayne. Yeah. who the heck is that anyway, so all due respect to him yeah now uh, he played let me, let me let me let me let me get this to where you could get a thing mm-hmm. now um let's stick uh, let's take an image of uh, uh who, who can i tell you i mean let's stick to john wayne yeah. Yeah. because he played I, a the, good example is like harry potter Harry Potter is Harry Potter. Harry like Potter. he's nothing else. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you take. Oh, you yeah. take someone like. You can't even say Harrison Ford because I mean, yeah. yeah. You take if you take like someone like let's say Harrison Ford. You. Hmm. Tell me, I haven't heard of Harrison Ford. No, oh, we have. Yeah. Indiana Jones. Right? Yeah. Now you 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 take someone who's so successful in that genre of mm-hmm. film, and you try and put him in. 
some let's say a slapstick comedy yeah, yeah. the audience is going to you know it's like they're not going to be able to perceive starts, it yeah yeah there's a famous rock thing in you know, the band you're in starts playing mm. different tunes yeah. mm. so you say i'll see you on the dark side of the moon yeah you know it's like what's going on here yeah? you know because the audience has a perception Perceive, of you yeah and sometimes you can break that mold and some people have done it successfully but by and large it's what your cast has true so it's a constant challenge it's a constant thing because if you do have mm. but the opposite side to that is that if you get established in that and it works then you're yeah. a star yeah, yeah. because you mm. So you sometimes it's good. It sometimes it's beneficial not to be too versatile. Yeah. Yeah. Because people can't pin you. Yeah. yeah. So as much as actors want to be versatile, you're remembered for one thing. The same. Old I mean, role. yeah. You could. I I did a good guy's role in in Ram Lakhan. Nobody that nobody remembers yeah. it. Nobody <laughs> remembers Bazi <Bazigar>. Gar. <laughs> so I mean, you know, you learn to live with it. Who's your favorite actor currently? Like, uh, the new like age body from the new guys. Yeah. Do you, is there anyone you like? Watching? My favorite act is definitely Alia Bhatt. Oh yeah, I saw in in uh, in Gangu Bai. Bro, mm. Gangu Bai, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You watch Gangu Bai? Gangu Bai is great. I haven't watched. When it. I've heard of Gangu Bai, that Alia is going to be playing this madam in a brothel. Yeah. yeah. So I said, what? It's got people have gone nuts. Yeah, she's got such a cute baby face. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know that kind of the face innocence. which suits the beginning of the film when she's mm. yeah. sort of coming I haven't watched she's it. ambushed and taken into yeah. the into the into the into the quota but I was I was like how is this how is she going to carry off being a madam and she did it brilliantly because by the end of the movie I'm going like wow yeah when that yeah. last speech by the time it came to that last speech I said man she, she just You could believe it that, yeah. that, that she was the madam. Yeah. All that baby face and her cute looks. So yeah, that was gone by the end yeah, of it. Yeah, it, it, uh. that was an outstanding performance yeah. as far as I think that yeah. I've seen in the recent past in Hindi movies. And uh, I like Ranbir Kapoor. I think he's he's very versatile. Yeah, and uh, he's got a he's got a good grip. Yeah. So that um, couple is uh, your, yeah. that couple is your favorite. Well, I know, yeah, of course, there are, <laughs> couple, yeah. there are a couple now. But I mean, of course, bless them as a couple. Yeah, also. A lot of talent in that couple. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's great. I mean, it's, it's 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 fantastic, and uh, and um, I um, I like some of the actors on on uh, on OTT, which mm. I'm learning. I like Ayushman Khurana a lot. Yeah. He's really quirky, yeah. and I like Rajkumar Rao and. Yeah, there's, there's some 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 really pre- pretty decent talent out there. Yeah. Some of the women as well, the great great performances. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things about Bollywood right now that they say there aren't any stand out like heroines like they used to be back in the day. Like now there's yeah, because the, the 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 format is such. I mean, in you know, in those days, firstly as much as technology has brought us OTT and this that was to be those those stars were created on the single screen mm. yeah big difference yeah. you went to the theater you saw a larger than life image yeah you know you sat there. i remember as a kid i used to run away, run away from school at night from boarding school and used to watch dara singh movies yeah. in nainital in capital cinema sit mm. right in the first row because that's all we could afford and that's where the members of staff who would be seeing the same movie would sit in the back yeah. <laughs> so we wouldn't get caught so as the lights yeah. went down we just creep in the company <laughs> and see dara singh movie and i remember seeing dara singh in any case dara singh was a, was a very well built man yeah but the whole thing of wow you know they were larger than life yeah true television has 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 screwed that over yeah. though while it's on the people are very popular like when we did bunyad we were like the household name i mean everywhere you went mm. people were just absolutely going crazy you know like tearing your clothes yeah. off <laughs> <laughs> almost so we used to wear the studio clothes you know, <laughs> tear the costume in case me too and as soon as bunyad got over boom it was over yeah then, you know then people say but bunyad you in bunyad and then, you know mm. so that single screen format was the silver screen which created yeah. mm. Yeah, larger than life. Larger perception. than life, larger than life, people, characters. The whole experience was larger than life. True. You went to the movies because it was the movies, man. You saw all these cowboys, and you saw this, and you saw Dilip Kumar, and you saw all these great guys, you know, in mm. the movies. Mm. Then came television, 
So a lot of the actors then were saying that we don't want to do television mm. because they are chota parda, you know, diminish you. At that time, it was it was not taken very seriously, but it did happen. Mm. So today's stars who are on OTT are just not they're not stars. They're good yeah. actors. They're yeah. popular. But it's and also social media has got a lot to do with that. Mm. Yeah. They're because very easily a, a, a lot more about that that remoteness and that mystery has That's gone. gone. Yeah, they're exposed yeah. almost all yeah. the time. In those days, stars were like were certain stars to the day they have passed away. I won't take yeah. names because it's not not right. To yeah. the day they pass away, they're still coloring their hair. Yeah. Because that was your image. You know, you were forever young. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were, you always dressed like a star. Yeah. And there was only the the media in those days was the magazines and things like that. So you were very careful yeah. about your image, about image you, yeah. you projected in, and in real life. Mm. So that was that was sacrosanct was your, the image, mm. which has taken kind of a battering over the years. Yeah. Mm. People don't think of it for now. We were just talking yeah. about paps and you know, yeah. people now are moving on their shorts and go to gym and you know, saying cool, getting into this car yeah. and also, you know, being seen in a totally different everyday life. Yeah. Mm. As much as that is attractive, but the mystery goes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't see that happening with today's actors. It's like, uh, I think Shah Rukh is the last who's... Probably. Like, who because will be at that. because of that because you have access to the mystery is gone is it's yeah. a simple yeah. thing I mean you it's know, overexposed you, yeah. right now you may have thought like even I'm sitting here in front of you I mean there is a certain demystifying in that as well yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting here and talking to you perhaps you had a different image of me and then you don't know who's going to come into the studio who's this guy yeah. Yeah. so now it's like we're sitting across the table yeah. If you had only seen me after buzzing out, you may not have wanted to sit across. The <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe so scared. <laughs> who this guy is, you know. <laughs> so, not for myself, but I'm just saying that. I mean, you know, with, with such a lot of media exposure, mm -hmm. social media, that whole thing is gone. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think Karan Johar said it. He said that, like, you know, there are no more like superstars. Yeah. Now we're sitting across the table with DT. And also, also like uh, weddings now when, two mm -hmm. people, when when stars get married or people get married, there's like such a lot of exposure and every detail is out there. There's, there's no, yeah, you know, it's a little too extra, I feel, because they have all information about you, yeah. like what what you've worn, who's designed it. Yeah. Every single thing is out there for and, public to consume, and that's what. The public wants. Yeah. yeah. They, so they want to be a part of your life. Yeah. It's a, the, there's a whole there's a whole change. I mean, there's you know, generations and then when you have, it. and I I say that technology has changed that because yeah. we have the technology now to sit across here and, and do what we're and doing. Have this we have the technology to get out there on Instagram and. True. So I mean, though, it also helps you to to project a certain aspect of yeah. yourself, but. You know, there's was, was always two sides to the coin. I mean, yeah. there's, always, there's always a downer. Yeah. I mean, everything is not plus. Everything is not W W. Sometimes there are big L's. L's. Oh, <laughs> yes. Right, with really? Lisa. But I think it's really cool that you're doing this or doing yeah. this and just like putting yourself out there on social media and like reaching an audience which is. I just, yeah. I'm, I'm so thank, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, that's thank you so much for that. But I just have to thank my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, did you I mean, if, if it yeah. wasn't for yeah. Mike and Amog. Yeah, they're doing a great job. They made this happen. Shout I, out. I, I, didn't, <laughs> shout I, didn't, I didn't know that, you know, but the first time they told me to do a reel, I was like, whoa, what's was going it, on? Was it the. Queen one. I'm no, no, no. Get the Kohinoor the first back. One, the first one that you told me was that Ratatouli one. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. told me, just go, you're going to this uh, this this party. Mm -hmm. Just uh, take a piece of cheese or paneer and <laughs> put it in your mouth and get someone to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, okay. Mm. You know, what is she, where is she going with this? Yeah. Man? How does this go to sort of, where is it going? Yeah. I mean, what's going to happen? But she, it's there and she cut it and it's one of our you know, biggest the best, biggest yeah. reels, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So thanks. Yeah. <laughs> First time I'm seeing like it's got 2.8 million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm an influencer this is now. It. This is what it's hard. It's an influencer. That's yeah. hard. That's, That's hard. hard. That goes hard. hard. That's a slapper. <laughs> that is slaps. Big slap. <laughs> so 
said, whoa, <laughs> this is like a whole new game. But it's fun. It's yeah. fun. You know, it's fun. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a sort of, um, yeah, it's, it, it opens up a whole different thing for me, which yeah. is, you know, I enjoy doing it. No, no it's really cool. So far. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool that you're doing it. That and thank you for doing this. Like, yeah, I had a you, thank lot thank of so fun. Much. Like, so we were. On it, I'll be honest with you. We were like, okay, what are we going to talk about? Like, this is like <laughs> yeah, we, we sat down to watch Bazigar last night. We'll we'll have something to talk. <laughs> about. <laughs> But it was just like <laughs> yeah, we, we cut I, the movie off once yeah, Shahrukh threw her off. <laughs> you were like, we can't see the hero do this. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, you know, I've done interviews where you know they're sort of saying they're nudging each other and saying, when will he shut up? No, no, <laughs> so no, we're just on listening on. and anyway, having a good yeah. time. It's absolutely a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so for much. having me here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Digifin, for organizing this, and you guys for thank you so much giving for me your time and yeah. teaching me all these cool words. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not now. <laughs> see me in the pub later. You see all go. these cool terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably forget them by the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so thank much you for doing this. Lovely. Everyone, go follow DT on Instagram. DT. He's po yes. posting some fun reels, and yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Cool. Thank Lovely. you so much. Yeah, we're going to follow you guys. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>